More signatures in question on petitions in the second congressional district race. 13 News Now first told you Monday we are examining the legitimacy of signatures on those petitions to get independent candidate Sean Brown on the ballot. Yesterday, a judge appointed a special prosecutor to investigate the issue and to see if criminal charges might be warranted. 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller joins us now with new names in question. Well, a state delegate says someone forged his and his wife's signatures on one of the petitions in question. Delegate Glenn Davis did actually sign a petition to get Sean Brown on the ballot, but now we've uncovered a second signature on a separate petition from the same day. But this one has some pretty clear errors. You would think most people know how to spell their own names and most adults know their correct address. But here, the name and supposed signature of Delegate Glenn Davis, who spells his name with two N's, is spelled G-L-E-N. And while we aren't showing his full address, Davis says the address on this petition is a few numbers off. It's the same case for the entry below, which is his wife's name, but again, not her signature and the incorrect address. The Virginia Beach delegate tells us he was surprised to see this one. For perspective, this is what the delegate's handwriting and signature actually look like. We found them on a different petition to get independent Sean Brown on the ballot in the second congressional district, a petition he confirms he actually signed. Oddly enough, the dates on the signatures are the same, meaning Davis signed on June 8th and someone signed Davis's name on a separate petition also on June 8th. That's the day before some of the other questionable signatures we've shown you were signed. New numbers from the State Department of Elections reveal in total Sean Brown submitted 2,163 petition signatures, which actually went through the verification process. 1,030 of those were considered valid. So, more than half of the signatures examined were not approved for a variety of reasons, including being illegible. We don't know yet if any of the questionable signatures we've uncovered were included in those validated by the state. Some of the petitions in question were collected by staffers of Republican incumbent Scott Taylor. Taylor says he has fired both his campaign manager and consultant, and his office will fully cooperate with the special prosecutor's investigation. Laura Geller, 13 News Now.